All right, guys, let's just do a really quick test to see if all the setup has been done correctly. So in this lecture, we're going to see our first SAS code, which is not going to look much different than normal CSS code for now. Now, once you start typing something in Sublime Text, it's going to open up a tab up here, which is just going to be untitled at the beginning. So let's first of all go ahead and click Control S to save this file. And I'm going to save this in a workspace of mine. And I'm going to call this file style.scss. And make sure your file ending is scss so that Sublime Text knows what kind of file we're dealing with. And then you can hit save. And now we have our first scss or ses file ready to go. And I'm just going to increase the font size for you so you can see it better. So inside here, let's just add some style for the body tag. And we're going to just say background color is supposed to be light gray. And did you see what just happened? That was the Emmet plugin. So we can just type BGC, which is going to be background color, and just hit tab. So if we do something like C for color and just hit tab, that's going to add this whole statement for you with a default color. But you can also do something like C and then put your color right here make it some red color and then press tab and it's going to finish it for you. Now we can take a closer look at the Emmet plugin and how powerful it actually is in another lecture. But in this lecture, we just want to test out our setup. So how can we now generate CSS code from this? Well, at the moment, this could actually be CSS code as well because we're using the SCSS syntax. So let's actually nest a P tag in here and say the color is supposed to be a dark blue. This you couldn't do in CSS code, right? But we're going to see what this actually compiles to in the CSS code. So remember that we installed this CES build plugin. And this plugin will actually allow us to generate CSS code. And what we can do is we can press Control B to invoke this plugin. Or alternatively, we could also go to Tools, build, but you can see this is control B. So we're just going to say control B and we can then choose says instead of the compressed file because we want to be able to read the output for now. So let's go ahead and hit enter on says. And now you can see that down here, this actually told you what it has done. So it has created a file called style CSS in this same folder and also a map file that we don't have to care about for now. So let's actually open up this CSS file and take a look at what this gave us. So here it is, style.css, and let's open this up. So you can now see that we have the same styles that we defined in our SCSS file, like the background color for the body tag and the color for it. And this nested P tag has generated this body P. So we can nest this inside our body tag in this SCSS file. And that's going to generate this selector right here and then assign this color that we specified. Okay, perfect. So that worked like a charm. We now have our generated CSS file and we only have to modify and deal with our SCSS file. And we can then just click build and that's going to give us our updated CSS file. So if this is working for you, you can also just play around a bit with it. Or you can go ahead and watch the next lectures right away and learn about all the powerful features that SAS or SCSS gives us, including not only this nesting, but also variables, mix-ins, calculations right inside our code, or advanced import capabilities. Now, if you're having any kind of trouble while building your project and generating the CSS file, then please let me know in the discussions right away so that I can help you and so that I can also cover this in the lecture for all the following students. All right, so we are now ready to set up our actual project structure and then learn about all the powerful features that SAS has to offer for us. So I will see you in the next lecture.